presenting who ever heard of a merism god's expansive creation in our sacred book called the bible in the very first section called the old testament or torah the very first story is about creation and when that story is told there are words that are used that sound like opposites or like binaries, which means there are only two options. A light is either on or it's off. The answer is either yes or it's no. For example, God created light and dark, and God created day and night. God created the land and the sea. And so a merism is when someone is talking or giving a speech or maybe writing a poem and they give a pair of opposites. But when there's just a pair of opposites, it doesn't always mean that the person is talking about just those two things. They're usually talking about all the in-between things, the things right at the edges, and maybe things that are even beyond that. Creation is not made up of opposites. God did not speak in opposites or in binaries. Because, you see, if you're paying attention, you'll notice God didn't just create night and day, right? What other times of day are there? God created dusk when day turns to night. The sun is setting and it's getting darker. The sky is changing colors from light blue to dark blue to purple to black. And God created dawn when light is breaking, the birds are chirping, and my favorite part, the coffee is brewing. Grown-ups in their coffee, am I right? But even coffee could be a merism. Some of us take our coffee black, no sugar, no milk and others take their coffee with a ton of milk and a million other ways. But back to creation. God did not just create the land and the sea. God created marshes and estuaries and tide pools. And I know I'm going out of order for those of you paying close attention, but God didn't create just the skies that are all the same above water and land. Because there's sky that's right around us right now that we're breathing. There's the thin sky up in the mountains that's hard to breathe. And there is air that fills deep valleys and cool underground caves. I think you're getting the point because you're pretty clever. We know that there are not just the land and the sun and the moon and stars. And even in the creation story, you can see how what starts as a merism of simply light and dark starts to become a longer and more complex list of all that God created. Not just a creature, but water creatures, flying creatures, land creatures. And even then, we know that those animals aren't opposites. It's not like a fish is the opposite of a bird. There are flying fish. There are swimming birds. There are amphibians, which are water land animals. And if you've ever been swimming, aren't you a land water animal too? And speaking of you, in the creation story, God creates humans. And humans are created in the image of God. But we don't know what God looks like, or do we? Because the next line says, and in the image of God, God created them. So any human creature is an image of God, male, female. And because now we know our fancy new word, merism, all genders, all ages, all shapes, all amounts of melanin that make up our skin colors, all abilities, they are all a part of that list. Merisms used in the Bible are not a list of opposites. They are a list of in-betweens, of edges, and beyond. 
There are no opposites in creation. There are no binaries. Just as there is no one way to be day or night, there is no one way to be human. This is the world God created, the universe God created, the families, communities, and the church that God created. It's a list that is growing, expanding, to include everyone and everything. All right, say bye. 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 Can't see you, sis.